Chapter 4, TLC Nutrition Overview, Getting Your Nutrients and What to Eat. To lower your cholesterol levels, there's no getting around the fact that you must do something about the foods you eat. The TLC program's major focus is to create a nutritious way of eating that will provide the correct nutrients and will reduce the amount of saturated fat you eat. These saturated fats are the fats that elevate your cholesterol levels. First, you want to reduce the foods high in saturated fats, like fatty cuts of meat and whole milk products you eat. You will also have to replace some of the animal fats and choose some healthy monounsaturated oils, olive oil for example. Another good option is choosing a fatty acid supplement like omega-3. These fats will keep the good cholesterol up and lower the bad one. The types of food you eat can be as important as your calorie content. What is good for one person may not be the same for the other. It is thus important to understand your metabolic system and nutritional needs. What are calories? There is so much hype surrounding calories these days. All of us know that in order to lose weight, we must burn calories. But what exactly are calories? In simple words, calories are units of energy in food or drink required by the body to perform its functions. The amount of calories needed by your body depends on the amount of energy required by your body to keep warm. This is exactly what your body needs, irrespective of your activities. Typically, the larger an individual, the greater their caloric need is, or their basal metabolic rate, which is the amount of energy expended by a body at rest. The basal metabolic rate remains the same daily. If your body needs, for example, 2,000 calories today, it will require the same amount tomorrow and the next day and so on. Basal metabolic rate varies from person to person depending on the body size and amount of work you do. What can you eat? The TLC program is based on consuming a wide array of different foods, but in doing so, getting a proper ratio of nutrients to fuel your body effectively. Food choices are not restricted per se, but must be consumed in a limited amount. These amounts are sometimes a percentage of your total calorie intake for each day. Saturated fat is less than 7% of your total calories. Polyunsaturated fat is up to 10% of total calories. Monounsaturated fat is up to 20% of total calories. Carbohydrates is 50% to 60% of total calories. Soluble fiber, at least 5 to 10 grams per day. And protein is approximately 15% of total calories. Fat. The biggest part of TLC diet program is about fats and is where we are going to focus our attention in this beginner's guide. If you get the correct amount of good fats in your diet, most things will fall into place, like carbs, protein, and fiber. These fats can help you fight those cholesterol levels or help you feed them. You have to learn what fat actually is in order to defeat it. Get to know your enemy before fighting it. Fat seems to be a dreaded word for most of us, but have you ever wondered why there's so much hue and cry about fat? First, I need you to understand this. Dietary fat is different than your body fat. It appears that the lack of knowledge of nutrition scares most to think dietary fat is bad. It can be considered word and image association where you hear the word fat and automatically associate it with the fat on your belly. Automatically you will think, uh oh, I don't want any more fat on my stomach. I don't want that food if it has fat. So is a low fat diet a solution for all ills? Well, before answering this question, it's important to find whether you are eating healthy fats or not. Healthy fats include seeds, nuts, and unrefined oils, and naturally occurring fats in vegetables and meats. The key lies in maintaining moderation and optimizing nutritional benefits. Experts recommend that fats and oils should suffice for at least 10-40% to 40 of your regular energy needs. Though fats have earned a poor reputation for their effect on heart health and obesity, some fat is essential for health and well-being. Fat helps in the absorption of carotenoids and fat-soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K. Supply essential fatty acids needed by the body, which it cannot make on its own, such as omega-3, which is an unsaturated fat that we must consume for our diets mainly found in fish. Fats have the potential to harm as well as help our health. 
depending on their fatty acid composition, their nutritional value, and their condition. When used in a natural, unadulterated state, fat offers optimal nutritional benefits. On the other hand, a very low-fat diet can compromise our health and ability to lose weight. Fatty Acids When you eat food, the fat comprised in the food is known as fatty acids. Typically considered good fats, fatty acids are known as the building blocks of many cellular structures and hormonal patterns in the human body. Healthy Nuts, Seeds, Fats, and Oils Healthy nuts and seeds to consume include almonds, pistachios, walnuts, hazelnuts, sesame seeds, pecans, Brazil nuts, sunflower seeds, macadamia nuts, cashews, peanuts, pumpkin seeds, and chai seeds. Fats and oils to use include almond oil, red palm oil, extra virgin olive oil, grapeseed oil, sesame oil, flaxseed oil, macadamia nut oil hemp, coconut oil, safflower oil. These fatty acids help in the transfer of oxygen to different parts of the body through the bloodstream. These fats help keep skin healthy, thus preventing signs of early aging. These promote cell membrane development and are essential for strong organs and tissue. They help the body process cholesterol and rid the arteries of plaque or cholesterol buildup. Fatty acids boost the functioning of adrenal and thyroid glands, thus helping regulate weight.